I guess we roll back to the dark side a little bit today. Um, I think this is a highly appropriate picture for the uh, topic I'm going to very briefly discuss. We get a lot of questions regarding uh, why drinking human blood, and we have a lot of videos that get shared with us that uh, pretend to give out the answer on this. A lot of the information in, in those videos actually come from uh, correct sources, and some of them actually startle me because it's information that I have never heard anyone else speak of outside of uh, very high-level magical uh, lodges and um, in uh, what used to be our, our secret society. So I was, I was startled to hear some of it, so someone out there definitely knows what they're talking about. Uh, unfortunately, they are just chopping it up and putting it through a word processor, and, and the way it comes out is so contrived that it can't even be considered correct anymore. But a lot of the information that they were giving uh, was stuff that most people would never know about, so I, I'd be curious what, what their source is. Um, the question is, of course, why do they drink human blood? And let me give you uh, a very quick, uh, in, in the way that I do quick, answer to that. One, many of the, well, I shouldn't say many, the reptilian race as a whole and many of the other alien races that have visited this planet find that human blood, because it is full of glandular secretions, is very intoxicating. Um, it's like the equivalent of wine to us, our blood is to them. Especially the reptilian race, they find a, a unique and distinct pleasure uh, from drinking it. And um, it is almost like a drug to them. I have heard tell that there's a few other alien races like the Greys um, and a few others who actually uh, prefer the direct glandular secretions, especially from the pituitary gland. Now the pituitary gland for us is where our DMT is stored. So every time that you dream, when you are born and at the point of death, the brain is saturated with the pituitary chemical DMT, and that's, that's how you get those amazing visions. And those visions only, only come to be because they are directed by the vibrational correspondence around them. So we can actually ingest DMT and have incredible experiences. Those alien races that, uh, like our pituitary glands, do it for the very same reason. The reptilians uh, enjoy the blood because of all the vast chemical and biological functions that, that pass through it. All our energy and food that we've eaten, and in some cases, even our memories are stored in our blood. The reason that humans, or especially the Illuminati and very dark uh, occult groups, um, and even idiots who don't know why and who are just sort of practicing the act of drinking blood because um, their stories of vampires, which maybe one day I'll do a video about what a real vampire is, and believe me, no one will really want to be it. It's more of a energetic astral thing than a physical, but it does manifest. So, keeping in mind with that, um, wow, my allergies are really bad today. Uh, keeping in mind with that, if the reptilian race can get humans to drink blood, they've essentially, they've they've won those humans for life. Um, it was much in the same way if they could convince us to give up our children for sacrifices, um, they knew that submission was, uh, you know, <laughs> a footstep away. The same with drinking blood. Humans can get very, very sick from drinking human blood. There really is little to no value. Unless, and here's the big thing, unless that blood is saturated with adrenaline. Now, what they usually will do, um, now I have to say I've never been there, I've never seen it, um, although uh, without going into, into, into too much detail when I was in South America, I saw the aftermath of something that could have very well been this. Um, they use a lot of torture, a lot of humiliation, a lot of scare tactics, to get the individual who they're being um, going to be drank from, usually um, a woman, 
Uh, they don't like particularly tough or aggressive men because uh, the adrenaline uh, doesn't seem to flow as much and they don't want to fight on their hands. They usually love to have children because they don't have to drug them and children are very susceptible for the kind of treatment they're about to receive. They generally will dress up in the scariest fashions they can do, make very loud noises, scream, run around like animals, chase them, cut them, do horrible things to them to get as much adrenaline in their body as possible. And when they are ready, they don't kill the child or kill the person first. They just immediately plunge something deep enough to pierce the skin and just begin drinking and um, it's such a horrible experience for this child that the spirit or soul is locked into a state of confusion um, and doesn't know where to go and generally if they're the blackest of the black type of magic they'll steal that soul and put it to work um, there is processes uh, that that actually allow that to happen um, for a time I mean, the soul eventually does move back to where its origins are back to the prime creator but for a time uh, that soul could be lost, traumatized, and trapped. The blood, however, then is saturated with adrenaline. And um, I have been given pure adrenaline before, um, and I can tell you, wow, what an experience. Uh, the fact that they are warped in the brain and are drinking human blood laced with adrenaline, um, from what I have been told by a very uh, disgusting human being that I know, uh, I can't say I know for sure, but I am, I am, would not be surprised if the story he told me is true, um, creates a vision of white light in, 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 in their minds and a, a, a feeling of absolute bliss that is better than any other drug, apparently, that is around. And in you know my younger days, I experimented a lot and found some really great drugs. So, um, that is really at its core of why humans do it. Now, they believe that it opens up certain energy pathways and gates, which it probably does, but to extremely and horrible dark places. Um, that's the whole thing about vibration, though, is that um, the acts that you commit um, and the thoughts that you have um, will attract... Uh, spiritual entities that are likewise to those energies and so this group that you know or these groups especially the Illuminati who practice this um, seasonally who, who do this a lot are surrounded by uh, beings that approve of this kind of uh, behavior so you're talking about um, transplatonian beings you're talking about um, uh, reptilian energies, you're talking about um, even even earth-based energies that are truly, truly horrid and, and, and truly, truly evil that, that really do exist, uh, but because we have moved into a form of Christian and major religion, uh, those old pagan deities that uh, were true earthbound deities um, and were true human deities, the ones that, that were, you know, that horribly twisted are have generally gone ignored and um, except for you know, the most secret of the secret uh, religions, none of them uh, receive enough um, attention to even be mentioned now. And because I don't want to bring attention to them, I won't mention them. So that is the whole thing about the drinking the blood. Um, it is an act of submission that the reptilians have uh, taught humans to do. And since humans now have started doing it, they know that their minds and their full corruption of, of both spirit and brain, and now even physical body, because there are physical reactions uh, to drinking blood, um, are, 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 are fully corrupted. Um, and they know that any group they can get to do this um, really will have no moral qualm to uh, performing other acts. And rituals and acts, while they do uh, raise and create energy, um, really are more of uh, symbolic into the, the psyche and subconscious of, of both an individual and a group. So you have a group willing to um, traumatize and, 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 and terrorize a child and then drink its blood. Um, I don't know what I don't know what they couldn't justify <clears throat> doing to anyone past then and that's the whole point is the German SS had to go through such intense desensitization trauma for them to be able to carry out the acts that they uh, that um, Nazi Germany wanted them to do 
this is much the same way. Once, once you can get these people to do these horrible acts, <clears throat> then morally, what's stopping them from, you know, committing, whole, you know, global genocide? So, there's the real reason for drinking blood. Maybe I'll come back and do another one with some of the more, um, I don't know, magical-esque properties, but I wanted to tear it down to the exact reasoning.